Please, Ivan Talibov from Ukraine. Ukraine are doing some amazing stuff, actually. Yeah. Considering the domestic problems, you know, the war, uh, that awful situation back mm -hmm. home, they've been traveling. The team, the sports teams from Ukraine have been traveling. They've been competing in the Karate One Premier League seal, haven't they? And here we are seeing them in the middle bouts in the European Championships. You know, for us, it's just amazing to see them there and uh, what, uh, how they can concentrate in uh, performing. I think that it's a great, great example. And man, for this team, I was, uh, I, I, I am really impressive. Yeah, Kim Fernandez from Portugal, the referee, gets them underway. Thomas Cosa from Slovakia in red, up against Rizvan Talibov. Talibov dancing around. That's quite a. He's very light on his feet yeah. for a plus 84, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Oh, very relaxed and. Uh, and fast. He's tall with. Long levers. Lo yeah. Legs and. Uh, We're just settling down in the centre again. Kossa trying to stay focused in the middle of the tatami. Talibov still very relaxed. Front hand hanging very low. Is he waiting to use that front hand? Oh, oh combination there. Yeah. Video review. No doubt for this. Kossa just scratching the side of his head, hoping that uh, it's successful. There's a video review signal from the co from the referee. Now, which of the four screens? There's the punch over the top from Talibov as oh. Kosa goes low with the Gyakazuki. And he's leaning off oh. to the side. Is he going to be given that score? Because one of the criteria for Ippon mm. is Zanjin. Yeah. Awareness, focus, concentration. Did he have that? Well, only those two referees in the Nothing. corner will decide, and it is a no. So it didn't meet the criteria. And instead, he gets a warning because he asked the coach to give the video review, and it's not his job. So instead of a point, he gets a penalty. Ooh, and Talibov, <laughs> what a response. Talibov fires in that really high kick to the head. That's a three-point score. Ippon and watch for the green dot he will get a you to go with it there it is again he Train. tries the high kick yeah. but this time it was Kosa who put in the punch just before that he gets a, a point. He's on a Yuko score now. Has to be careful of those long legs from Talibov, doesn't he? Jill. You know, this kind of athlete, are really, you know, you never know when the kick is coming. And the, for uh, the, uh, the opponent, it's really dangerous to, <laughs> to leave this kind of, uh, of fight. Because you can just concentrate on his punches, and after when you don't you don't waiting for it, you have a, a, his kick on the, he, your face. And he's so supple, isn't he? He's he's able. Look at that Uramoa, yeah. the hooking kick there. Perfect technique. Didn't meet the target, of course, but just an example of how flexible he, yeah. he is, he and, is. And how high he chambers that knee position. Mm -hmm. Kosa gets another yellow card warning. That seems to be the tactic that Talibov is using. He fires in the front hand and then throws up that roundhouse kick afterwards. It almost comes in behind. Yeah. And uh, to uh, Kosa is not able to, to see it coming. So even though he's so tall, he's able to kick at close range as well as at length, goes for a kick to the body. <laughs> He's really complete with his punches, his legs. He has the full range, doesn't he? Yeah. And he doesn't always go to the head, he just tried a, a, a kick to the body. 
what I'm watching, what I was watching is not because uh, I think he touched with his knee and he blocks the. No, did the did the kick go in under the arm or did it go on the arm? If it was blocked by the back arm of Corsa, yeah, yeah, yeah. then it may not, it wouldn't be given as a score. If it went under the guard, then it could be. So the Nothing. reason, as you quite rightly say, Zil was because the arm blocked it. Yeah. And to be fair to the coaches, they can't always see that, can of they? Uh, it's all about angles. There again, that hooky kick from Kalibov. And again, it goes up. Didn't he? He throws his kick out so easily. It's just like his arm, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> it's effortless. And now it's very difficult for the Tolucan guy. He's got. He's on three yellow cards now. The next one would be red. He would lose the. He would lose the match with a disqualification. Costa oh, is still trying very hard. In the last ten seconds, we got nine seconds on the clock. This time it is Talibov who's going to be warned for pushing. He'll get a hand soccer chewy. Watch for that green dot. It will disappear. Senchu's gone. Costa needs at least two points to draw or three to win the match. Oh, yeah. Ora Mawashi, yeah, that yeah, hook yeah. and kick comes up again oh, from Talibov. Again, he stepped in with the punch, didn't he? And then the hook and kick. Body, body and kick. Another three-point score. As he cruises into the last five seconds, comfortably winning. Costa desperately trying to do all he can, no, it's but it's all too little, too late. And the bronze medal goes to Rizvan Talibov of Ukraine. Congratulations to him, really a good, uh, good fight. And there we saw in the crowd just a shot of the contingency uh, for contingents from uh, Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Great team, all been travelling, competing all around Europe. You can see the height difference between the two. Oh yeah! And it was the the difference it made. They get a chance to have a look at some of the action of. Rizvan Talibov.